everybody, I'm Angela Demel and I'm at one of our brand new listings. So have you ever thought about living on a float home? And maybe you didn't know, but this is one of the few communities in the Lower Mainland where you can actually live in a float home community. So today I'm at Queensgate Marina, which is, uh, we're selling at number 6750 South Dyke Road. And this unit, or so this home is absolutely stunning, custom built by owner. It comes with one parking, but there's also additional parking available. And it's built on a positive flotation platform, otherwise known as IMFS. And that's made out of concrete and styrofoam. Unlike other float home communities, these guys actually enjoy an uninterrupted view of a quiet side of the channel, which you can see over here. Tons of wildlife, things like beavers, ducks, geese, mallards, the list goes on and on. They see all kinds of wildlife every single day. Over here, one of the cool features about this float home is that they have a wraparound deck all the way around. And one of the features of that is it helps with maintenance of the float home. So a lot of people don't have this. And then when they need to do maintenance, they struggle quite a bit with how they're going to get around. So that's a nice part. Over here, you can see that they've got some a canoe. I think they have kayaks as well. Yep, there you go. So they're very active. And a lot of people that live in this type of a community are quite active. So we're going to continue to walk around this side. And actually, this home comes with a boat slip and so does every single home here. So if you've got a boat, you've got a place to park it right beside your house. Here we are on the bottom deck. As you can see, it's just beautiful. It's pretty windy today. The water is moving pretty quickly. Imagine sitting out here, having your morning coffee, watching the occasional boat go by. There's swans that pass by, ducks, it's pretty cool. We're gonna walk right in here for our inside the main living space. So the kitchen and then the, the main living room, there's actually two living room spaces in this house, which is pretty nice. So there's lots of room for entertaining. The kitchen has got some cool custom features. So you've got a large uh, island here, lots of seating for guests, a little bar on top. Um, tons of cabinet space. It's absolutely stunning. They've got some cool features. The cabinets that kind of pop up like this. Tons of storage space. Just pull down and lock. Same thing over here. They've got their microwave kind of tucked away. Another cool feature of this kitchen, which I personally love, are these. Oh, you're on the wrong side. These are like the spice pull-up cabinets. So they just made so much good use of every little bit of space in this kitchen and it shows. There's just like no lack of storage here for anything. You've got stainless steel appliances. You've got loads of natural light and a nice little eating area over here. You can stare out at the water again while you're having your breakfast. Another feature of this home is it's got in-floor heating and these are actually, this is actually concrete flooring, which is pretty cool, but it's warm. We've also got a speaker system both inside and out of this home. So if you want to play music and have a little party, you've got music going, you've got a natural gas fireplace over here. And actually both of these windows open as well. You can get a really nice draft uh, coming through this house. Right now I'm really feeling it with only one door open, but all of the windows open up quite a bit. Uh, so it's great. It's actually a 100 amp electricity house as well. So if you wanted to add air conditioning, you could do that. Here we've got our first bathroom. So this one is on the main floor. This bathroom was custom designed to get wet. Okay, and what I mean by that is you've got your concrete flooring here, you've got the same on the, on the walls, and we've got a door here. Where does this door go? It goes up oh, right outside. Why would this door go outside? That's so strange. Well, it's so that you can come right off the water and you're wet here, wetsuits or whatever you're doing, and come right into this bathroom and take off your gear and clean it up and wash up and not get water all over the rest of your house. It's pretty awesome the way that this was designed. It's also wheelchair accessible, so 
That's another feature of this home is having wider hallways than a standard home so that if somebody was uh, wheelchair accessible or needing wheelchair accessibility, they would have it here. Next, we're gonna go into their laundry room and storage space. This space is huge. It's not your typical laundry room. There's tons of storage cabinets in here. Uh, Kenmore washer dryer and so a couple cool features. So this one, a little secret storage here. That's where they keep all their life jackets and all their kind of outdoor gear clothing. So I have a separate space for that. A sink, a second full-size freezer, more storage space. This house is filled with storage space. Fun fact, a lot of float homes suffer with storage space. These guys have so much. Um, it's like I said, owner builder. So they've really thought about everything as they were doing the design for this home. They've got their bikes here and some more gear here. So this door is just parallel to the front door. So you have two ways out to the front of the house. And okay, so here we have the master bedroom and this is on the main floor, which is very desirable for a lot of people, especially as they age and they don't want to be going up and down the stairs um you know every day a bunch of times so you've got this on the main floor this is uh large enough to put a king size bed if you wanted to you've got a walk-in closet here with all uh, customized cabinets for all the clothes uh, so that's very well done you've got Then you've got your ensuite, so you've got a four piece with a full bathtub here, which is nice, all on the main floor. Okay, heading back out, we are going to take a look at the electrical room. This is the command center for the home, so everything that you need is right in here all very technical so i'm not going to get into the details of the nitty-gritty of what can be found in this room just wanted to give you a quick peek for today and we're going to head upstairs to the second level they've got some nice in-floor lights here which is a really nice feature for at night time so you don't trip basically upstairs you've got a double of what you had downstairs so you have another dining space or you could use this as a flex space you could throw a pool table here or foosball or kids items whatever your heart chooses you've got a wet bar here great space for entertaining and a second living space over here so they've kept downstairs a bit more formal and up here more relaxed this is where they spend most of their kind of laid back time you're also going to find upstairs another bedroom. So this bedroom is pretty good size as well. Great feature, sliding glass doors. You're going to find three different sliding glass doors, uh, sliding glass door sets on this floor. That just allows for a lot of airflow to pass through, especially when it gets really hot outside. Then we've got another bathroom up on this floor. So this one is also a four piece with a bathtub. So you've got two bathtubs, all very nice. Everything is in excellent condition in this home. It's not only clean, it is in pristine condition. And then you've got over here, we've got an office. So this office is custom designed for the owner to work at home. Also with the sliding glass door. The cool fact about this room is that this door, which is super heavy, is uh, soundproof. So they had this customized so that when he's in here talking on the phone, his wife won't hear him. I need one of these at my house. Ta-da. Everybody knows how loud Chris is. Okay, moving on through. So we're gonna just pop outside here and show you the upper wraparound deck. So you can see the views all the way around. It's pretty cool. So those are the ramps over here to get up to the parking. This home does come with one included parking stall that you own, but there's tons of street parking up top as well. So if you do have more than one car, it won't be a problem for you. Heading on this way. I'm not sure. I don't believe any other home here has wraparound decks on upper and lower floor. I think it's unique to this home and it's a pretty cool feature. 
So up here you have a larger space, more guests can come out here and kind of hang out. You've got a safe railing here as well. You've got a raised view. You can see all kinds of things from up here. So this is the money shot right here. It's a lot warmer up here as well. Another amazing feature about this home is that it's a green home. So that means that it's got solar panels installed and the system was designed to make the home electrically neutral on an annual basis. So what that means is excess power is generated in the sunny months and creates a sort of a credit on the electricity account, which is drawn down in the dark months. So total green home, solar power, huge selling feature. Over here, we've got barbecue natural gas hookups. So we have one upstairs and downstairs. So you could put a barbecue on both levels if you so choose. And if you want it to rent to gas, you've got that option. Okay, now we're gonna go on a little trip up the ladder. So we're still on the upper floor, but we're gonna go up into the attic space because it is so huge. You don't wanna miss out on this. This float home is actually very rare in having this storage space. Most of them don't have it. And a lot of people actually have to rent storage units outside of the home. It's all insulated. They have so much stuff up here, it's crazy. There's lights, like everything that you need to store can fit up here. Plus all of the excess storage downstairs, you simply would not need to rent a storage unit. If you'd like to take a deeper dive into this home and come and check it out and learn about all of the features, there was way too many to list today. Uh, we would invite you to give us a call for a private tour, 604-961-5860. Uh,